Police have arrested 41 year old Aaron Musso. They say he's the same man spotted in surveillance video with Bud Paul during the last days of his life. Investigators told us today they first learned Paul was missing in August 2020 when a co-worker requested a wellness check. He hadn't shown up for work and couldn't be reached for days. Paul's body was found a few days later in some woods at Roseau River Anishinaabe First Nation. It was the day after his vehicle was found burned up on Queen Street in Winnipeg near the Polo Park Mall. Today, police say that SUV was key to cracking the case. The vehicle was significant, I will say that in the investigation, um, and we do have the vehicle on surveillance uh, going throughout Manitoba with these three individuals, but I won't uh, go into any more details on the use of the vehicle. A woman in her 30s was also in the car. Police questioned her in 2020, but she's no longer a suspect. RCMP released a photo of Aaron Musso back in 2020 and got a lot of tips from the public since then. The investigation involved police in several jurisdictions, including Nipawa, where Paul was last seen in this liquor store. Officers combed the area where his body was found, about 100 kilometers south of Winnipeg. RCMP also went through Paul's home here on Hespler Avenue in the Elmwood neighborhood and say those searches turned up important evidence. Forensics is a very complicated entity, right? And it's, there's new technology evolving every day. Um, and I don't want to, you know, talk about the specifics of DNA because that's very important to police investigations. But what I can say, it was important enough that we extend it out to the United States of America for assistance. Police won't say how or where Paul was killed, but they do believe his death was planned. They won't divulge how Musso knew him or what his motive might have been. He was arrested on Tuesday and is being held in custody. Police do not expect to lay any more charges. Emily Brass, CBC News, Winnipeg.